what it means. <laughs> we are a community of learners interrogating what it means to create togetherness in times of stagnation and isolation, COVID-19. We are offering practices to explore sensory experience and grounding that center around smelling, tasting, drawing, and slowing down. We are doing this as a means to hold space, spaces of joy, pleasure, collective care, and deep attention, and to help us stay present in our current surroundings, particularly acknowledging the way in which systemic racism and violence is erupting. Therefore, we choose scores that are supportive of gentle engagement with social, with self and the social atmosphere. While these scores can be done independently, some benefit from being shared. Feel free to share or do them with anyone who, who will enjoy them. Bring an orange, some paper and pens, pencils, and a blanket you love. So the, the first score that we're gonna offer is a deep listening score by Sarah Miller. All right, so the first materials you'll need are headphones, a music of choice, which I'll get into more details about that in a minute, and paper and pens or pencils, whatever art medium um, of production you prefer. So for our first task, I would like us to listen to music with a new freshness. In this exercise, I call special attention to your bodily response, as well as the idea that this piece of music was formed by another human. So first, we need to pick a music. Since music can be defined in many different ways, I will stick with John Blacking's definition of music as, quote, humanly organized sound. I encourage you to select a music that most calls to you at the present moment. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, as you're uh, continuing to do that, I would like to highlight that you need to find a space. So as part of this exercise, I would like you to focus on slowing down. This means both creating space in your mind as well as a physical space in your room. Clear a space for yourself, whatever that means to you. So now I would encourage you to get out your um, drawing materials. And your headphones. And I would like to discuss a little bit what I mean about listening with intention. So music inundates us everywhere we go. From grocery stores to TV commercials, our lives have a constant soundtrack. For this exercise, I want you to focus on one music for an extended period of time. Put in headphones or listen live, depending on what you've chosen. We will listen to this music three times. And um, I'm going to give you about, I, I would say three minutes for each listening. So if you are picking a piece of music that's particularly long, uh, we'll just focus on one section of that. During this time, I will not talk, and I will encourage you to focus on your own present moment. So as you're listening, I encourage you, of course, to draw, or um, if you have a preferred medium of output that you would like to do instead, feel free to do that. And for our first listening, I would like you to focus on mood and color of this music. All right, I'll go ahead put my headphones in. Mm -hmm. 
and then we can start. All right, so we just got through our first listening. And for our second listening, I would like you to focus on time as a parameter. All right, let's begin with that.
So we're now at our final listening. And I'll give us five minutes for this one, just because I think we'll need a little extra time just to kind of wrap up our thoughts. So for this, I would like you to focus on movement, communication, and or connection. All right, let's begin.
All right, so the five minutes are up. Uh, thank you for joining us in this. And I would really recommend if you've done this activity with anybody else to share uh, your drawings and maybe discuss them a little bit because from my own experience, there's some really interesting uh, connections and uh, conversations that emerge out of these things. So thank you. Wait, 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 wait. So this next score is by Renata Zacarias and it's called High Brow and Home. Go ahead, Renata. Hello. So for this, you'll need a piece of paper and your favorite blanket. I'll give you, I don't know, like two seconds to gather your materials. Okay, time's up. Okay, so for this score, you will get your materials and lay them side by side. And for the entirety of the score, don't look at the blanket or the piece of paper. If anything, you're gonna look straight or blindfolded. I mean, eyes closed, sorry about that. Oh yes. So as you look straight or away, from your objects, you place both of your hands on the piece of paper and feel the piece of paper. Feel the thinness of the piece of paper in relationship to the surface below. Now you can pick up the piece of paper with your index finger and your thumb. And feel the edges. Feel free to think about if you've ever gotten a paper cut due to the sharpness or dullness of a piece of paper. Now you can raise the piece of paper to your chin height and drop it into the other hand. Sense the level of resistance or lack thereof. Think about those books with hundreds of pieces of paper in them in comparison to this one piece of paper. Lastly, take a few whiffs of the piece of paper and set it back down. Now, place both hands on top of your blanket. Feel the difference of a blanket in comparison to the piece of paper and how the surface below is or can be more blanket or wherever you're laying it. Feel the surface area of the blanket. 
feel the scenes, feel the fluff, the laughter of the fleece, any loose, loose pieces, any textures, any designs without looking at the blanket. Place your hand under the blanket and feel the warm or coolness it can give your hand. Does it feel any different than on top of it? Is it one big fabric or is it two? Now, pick up the blanket from one corner with your thumb and your index finger and feel the resistance. Now feel free to pick up the blanket with both hands. Maybe even toss it up into the air. Finally, bring the blanket to your face and have a good whiff. Or a couple. Thank you for your time. And right. the next score, <laughs> sorry, the next score is by Maurice Moore and Julia Hack will facilitate it for us. Great. Um, so for this score, you're going to need uh, either sort of a sheet of paper or like a notebook, drawing pad, sketchbook, um, but something that's kind of weighty. And then um, drawing material, sorry, drawing implements, pens, pencils, colored pencils, crayons, whatever. Um, if you have masking tape and would like to tape down a sheet of paper, um, that will be the first step. So you'll go ahead and just tape that paper to a flat surface. Um, otherwise you can use a heavy sort of weighted notepad or something to kin. Um, the next thing you'll need is a, an object with an odor, um, preferably something alive. Take a minute to find your odorous object if you need. Um, next, go ahead and either put on a blindfold or close your eyes. All right, once you are blindfolded, uh, take your smelling object, your odorous object, um, and just 
begin to smell the object, you are going to smell for five minutes. Um, this is five sustained minutes of just sort of smelling and taking in the object and you can begin smelling now. All right, now you are going to begin drawing. So find your paper and your drawing supplies. 
and you are going to smell and draw at the same time. We're gonna do it for five minutes. If you wish to draw and smell for longer, you can just pause the video after our five minutes time.
It's been five minutes. If you'd like to continue drawing, go ahead and pause the video and continue drawing for as long as you wish. You can remove your blindfold now. And just take a moment to reflect on the connections between the object that you drew and the work of your drawing. Place the object on your drawing, beside your drawing. Done. And our last score of the session uh, by Kevin Dockery. Orange, you glad you didn't see banana. Hello. Um, so all you need for this is uh, an orange. And as you can see, I already can't do it. I already am doing it wrong. So my invitation is also to do it incorrectly. Um, maybe you only have a banana. Maybe you're going to do it with a piece of pizza or a box of crackers. Anything is fine. Um, if, it, if it's something that you can open, that's nice. And you are going to eat this thing, so have it be food. Might not work with some other things, if you want. Or do whatever. Also, I always want to invite people to like, if something is interesting, to get distracted by it, and who cares what I say? Um, so stay with, stay with your interest, right? It's just, these are just questions. Ba -ba -bum. So, we're going to start now. So have your orange or other citrus fruit or other fruit or other food or other thing on hand, in your hand. And look at it. Maybe you can maybe you can just like set it down for a second and have a glance at it and see what it's like as an object. You could prod it a little bit. What does it do? How does it feel in your hand? What's the weight of it? We're just kind of asking questions about what it is, right? What is it? What is it like to touch this thing? And then do the same thing, but now we're gonna also touch it to ourself, right? So instead of touching it and measuring it, let it measure you. How would, the, how would the, your thing measure you, your face or your arm? So you're touching this thing, but this thing is also touching you. What if instead of moving it along you, you move you along it? And maybe find a place where you can just rest it for a second on yourself. Um, great. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Feel all the things. Squeeze it a little bit. There's a million. There's a million things. You could let this take a really long time and just pause and explore your object for a long time. But we're not gonna open it just quite yet. We're, gonna, we're really gonna get to opening it very soon. Um, it's kind of nice if you have an orange. I have a, the, a lime is hard to peel, but whatever. We're, just gonna, we're gonna peel things now, right? You ready to peel your thing? Um, so maybe really feel what it feels like to, to begin, right? Or listen to it. What does it sound like? if you scratch the surface as you start to peel this? What is the interaction of the sound of this object as you 
if it's fruit, right, it's kind of still alive. You're opening it. Yeah, maybe if you don't have an orange, you have to use your teeth, right? Oh, whoa. Oof. Okay, do you have it open? We're just gonna peel it and listen to the sound of the peeling. Peeling has a really interesting And now we're just gonna peel it and explore the peeling. Like, what is the peeling like? What does the peel taste like? What does the peel smell like? Does it smell? We're just engaging with this thing with all of our senses, really, right? I've never peeled a lime before. Very odd. Yeah, if you have an orange, you might be like so far, it might be completely peeled, right? And I'm just like barely trying to start here. That's great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get to where we can get a slice of whatever our fruit is, right? I don't know if you don't have an orange. I don't know if it's possible with a lime. You can work at it here. And feel what it's like to divide the sections, right? They have it. They have a, a desire to not be divided in a certain way, but also a desire to, they're made to divide. How does the sound of, of taking the peel off differ from the sound of Dividing the sections. And then look at what you have, right? Look at the thing that you have. Now it's a different thing. It's just a piece of what you had before, but it's still the thing. Very interesting, right? You can touch it to your skin or smell it. Does it taste or smell different? Does it smell different than the peel smells? If you're doing this now with someone else, maybe you are, maybe you're not, doesn't matter. You could offer a specific way to eat it, right? So eat, eat your section now. We're gonna eat our sections, our segments but we're gonna do it in a specific way. We're gonna decide how we do it and then execute the action, right? Maybe your, decision to maybe your decision in executing the action is to not do what I just said, which is great, however you want. Oh! Whoa. Mm. And now we're gonna just do that one more time. One more section. And I want you to just think about how you're sharing this experience with the section of fruit. And you can do this with the whole orange if you want, but I'm only gonna lead it through for one more time. You're actually sharing a once in a lifetime moment with this segment of fruit, right? And I can see Julia is down there having a similar experience to me where she's eating a lime and it's super sour and intense. So it is kind of like a once in a lifetime thing because I don't usually eat limes this way, but um, doesn't, it, it can be, you can do, 
I mean, everything is a once in a lifetime event anyway. So how do we engage, engage with the process of eating a segment? However we do it, like we'll never do it again. I'm going to stop doing this here. And my invitation is for you to keep doing this as long as it keeps being interesting. Um, or stop with us or stop with the recording as you will. Um, I don't think I could eat a whole line that way. That would be a real interesting experiment. But Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, thank you. That's all. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an improv score. <laughs> the the mind the box. Oh yeah. I hate mimes. <laughs> I love how in in you know in tons of movement classes it's like feel as if you were in a box, and that's like oh. Cool. <laughs> I mean, we're all almost always in a box. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all for being here and sharing all your energy and yay, lovely.